I am Anil Kumar and in this series of solving trigonometric equations with single ratios, we have learned few steps which should be followed to actually solve any trigonometric equation. On this sheet, we have two different equations. We will solve both of them and both of them are with tan ratio with the help of our four step method. The two questions are tan theta equals to 1 over square root 3 where I should have written this as theta is between 0 to 2 pi and then we have tan square x equals to 3 where x is between 0 to 2 pi. You can pause the video, solve this question as per our steps and then check with my answer. The first step is to find the quadrant in which the solution may lie. Since tan is positive, which quadrant will it be positive? You know all are positive in quadrant 1, sine in 2, tan in 3 and cosine in 4. So we are expecting a positive answer in quadrant 1 and in 3, correct? So we are expecting these two quadrants. That is first step. Second is find the acute angle. For acute angle, we kind of write the equation as tan of alpha equals to whatever. So 1 over square root 3. Now you can calculate alpha using alpha equals to tan inverse of 1 over square root 3, right? So we'll get your answer for quadrant 1. Now if you do calculate, you'll get your answer. But I'll use special triangles since we need to get all these things in our mind, right? Whenever you're solving trigonometric equations, you should know them, right? It's not that you have to remember. Once you do 10 questions, you will remember them all. So these angles are pi by 3, pi by 6. Tan is opposite over, let me write soca tour, right? Soca tour, right? C A H and tan is opposite over adjacent. So we need 1 over square root 3. So we are looking from pi by 6 angle. So we get alpha equals to pi by 6. So that is the acute angle which we have got, correct? But we are looking for two solutions. So the other solution will lie in quadrant 3. Now what are your angles? The first one we just calculated pi by 6. The other one acute angle is pi by 6. But how much is all this? Those you can now write down very clearly. So you get from here theta is equals to pi by 6 in quadrant 1. And then in quadrant 3 it should be pi plus pi by 6. Correct? which is theta is pi by 6 and 7 pi by 6. Correct. So that is how you can get your answer. Now let's do the next one. Tan square x equals to 3. That means tan x is what? Tan x is square root of 3 with positive and negative sign. Both signs, correct? Both signs means you are looking for solutions in all four quadrants, correct? Positive or negative. Step number one is very same. We're just figuring out how many solutions are possible. One in each quadrant. Okay. Now second is find reference angle or acute angle. So we say tan alpha is square root 3. Always take positive since we are looking for solution in quadrant 1. So alpha equals to tan inverse of square root 3. We can use this triangle. We know tan inverse of square root 3 means angle is pi by 3. So we get alpha equals to pi by 3. Once you get your angle, then you can write down all the answers. So we got pi by 3. So pi by 3 in this angle, we are talking about the acute angle. Remember that, okay? What I'm trying to say here is, this acute angle is pi by 3. Do you see that? The angle which the terminal arm makes with horizontal, that is what acute angle is. But what is our solution? In this case, x should be equal to 1 pi by 3, that is correct. Then it is this much, which is pi minus pi by 3, say pi minus pi by 3. And then we have this one, which is pi plus pi by 3, pi plus pi by 3. And then we have this one, which is 2 pi minus pi by 3. You get the point, right? So calculate, write down your answer. So you have pi by 3, then this is 2 pi by 3, then we have 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 pi by 3, and lastly, 
6 minus 1 is 5 pi by 3. So you have four different answers for this question. And last step as you know is to check your answers. All these answers lie in the domain 0 to 2 pi and if you check with calculator you will get tan square of these angles as 3. So that completes our working with single ratios and you have dealt with examples which are sine, cosine or tan ratios and now you are ready to do any trigonometric equation that may be linear, quadratic or any combination. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.